one of the main blockchain solution goals is the privacy, and virtual private network Shirtle VPN is the king size part of it. Mysterium team decided to create distributed, trustless and sustainable network. They said that providing open access and privacy to all internet users is the mission of Mysterium network. We have an opportunity to speak with Roberta Swishinsky, Mysterium founder. Hello, Robertus. How did you come up with the idea to create a blockchain-based VPN? Mm. Well, first of all, hello. Um, I well, I learned about VPN uh, a long time ago, uh, and uh, since then uh, I've been getting myself more and more immersed uh, with the uh, Ethereum blockchain, Bitcoin, and uh, and all things decentralized, open source. Um, so basically, uh, <laughs> there just needs to, 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 to take some time for you to realize uh, that uh, centralized VPN, um, it, it helps uh, people to get, to, get, to get more privacy on the internet, um, but uh, then uh, it takes this private and, and, and very essential information uh, about user habits and, 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 and browsing data and personal uh, identity information from the hands of the internet service provider, for example, uh, into the hands of the centralized VPN provider. And uh, in that case, most, most of the time, there are certain exceptions. In that case, um, centralized VPN providers actually know more about the user uh, than, uh, for example, uh, internet service providers. Uh, and if certain of them um, do become uh, a, a, a huge uh, VPN providers, that makes them, well, very easy targets for, for, for organizations uh, to go and get that information from, 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 from those centralized big uh, VPN providers. I'm not saying that they do. Uh, I'm just saying that you as a user don't have any way of checking uh, and, and verifying if they do collect that information. So, well, uh, understanding that, uh, there was no brainer. Uh, basically, understanding that this needs to be decentralized, uh, and uh, there is power in decentralization. And it's really becoming a lot more difficult to basically honeypot um, this information because no information would go. It, it needs to be designed in a way that no information would flow through a centralized element uh, but instead would go point to point from from node to, 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 to the customer uh, hardware and between those two points there would be an encryption and no middle intermediary and getting access into that information so I don't know if this is, if this answers your question okay there are a lot of VPN services now what makes your project unique? Why should customer choose yours? Yeah. Well, for one, uh, it's probably a decentralization element that is the most interesting uh, because, uh, as I was just talking, there is no centralized entity. Uh, it's it's, it's going to basically be impossible for a centralized entity to, to, to put the hands on on that private information. But aside from that, uh, there are additional uh, benefits. For example, one of those, uh, there will be lots of uh, node providers, uh, VPN service providers. Anybody will be able to basically take their computer and uh, download our open source uh, software developed by us and by the community and uh, start providing the service. Uh, since Eventually, there could be lots and lots of, 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 of nodes uh, giving essentially similar service well with certain uh, differentiations uh, like, like the speed, for example, and location. 
Mm, there is this principle that's called uh, uh, perfect competition. So perfect competition will kick in eventually, and uh, the cost of the service will 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 go down. Uh, how much? It's hard to say. Uh, history needs 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 to show it uh, for us. Uh, but we expect it to, to go as low as 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 the cost of the service for the node providers. And I believe there will be some ingenious node providers that are able to optimize on those costs. So eventually, it's going to be probably tens of times cheaper than existing VPN providers. Yeah, but we are witnessing cyber attacks and failures nowadays. How will you provide the stable network? Well, uh, the nature of cyber attacks uh, these days is, um, how to say it, uh, some centralized entities usually being attacked. Uh, uh, so there needs to be a, a central servers, uh, a central database where uh, where the attack is taking place and trying to, 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 to damage the data or get access to the data uh, or cripple the service. Sorry, in our case, uh, it's going to be a completely different story. Uh, it's going to be decentralized network of VPN providers um, they are not going to have a centralized entity that's controlling them. Um, so, I'm not saying that uh, we won't experience any attacks on, 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 on our uh, network, uh, but what I'm saying, these attacks will, if they come, uh, will come in a different form. Um, and we'll have to search for, 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 for ways to deal with those attacks. Um, I currently cannot cannot name uh, those attacks, uh, but I believe there will be there will be tries, and that's why we have a dedicated team and the community who is. Uh, and actually, we have a very uh, lively community that is uh, basically even even today in this early stage, uh, they are warning us about potential dangers. So I believe when we join our, our forces, the dedicated team plus the community. Um, well, we'll just work on this. All I can say is we'll just work on this. And what is the reason to use the Ethereum solutions? Well, it's because it's, it's, it's an amazing technology. Uh, it allows... Uh, well, it allows for a completely different mindset uh, of creating a protocol that has incentivization uh, built into it, uh, which eventually um, aligns uh, lots of different people, entities uh, on reaching a, 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 a unified goal. And in our case, that goal is to create a a system uh, which provides secure uh, and private access uh, into the internet. And Ethereum is, is amazing. Uh, for example, smart contracts, uh, blockchain-based uh, storage of, of, of certain data points that are essential to the service. For example, for discovery mechanisms, uh, for example, for clearing payments, uh, for example, for anonymous identity management, uh, Ethereum. It's, uh, Mysterium is going to be a mix of, um, of technologies working together. For example, a, a node and a customer uh, software talking to each other, then exchanging certain elements with the blockchain. So, um, so yeah, it's, 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 it's going to be an essential part uh, because of the immutability, because of the smart contracts. On the 30th of May, Mysterium will open ICO. Tell us, please, a few words about Mysterium token okay. mechanism. Um, we want to create, uh, 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 as well, an incentivization into the system. And, um, and Mysterium token, in the earliest phases, will serve as the access token. Basically, having this token, you will be able to uh, get access uh, uh, into the service. Uh, you, either you are a node operator, then you will get, I can say, paid by the customers uh, using MIST tokens. 
And if you are a, a, a customer, then you'll, you'll you'll have to acquire some tokens, and then if you want to use the service, that's in the early stages. Uh, once we find a legally safe path, uh, and if we do that, um, to take uh, us into the different mode where uh, Mysterium token holders can. Um, can participate in sort of a uh, in a pause uh, position where, um, well, basically getting certain percentage of of of, of each transaction, uh, then we will uh, transition towards that. Um, that probably won't happen within the next year. You say the minimum goal of donations is seven hundred thousand CHF. If this goal wouldn't be reached, yes. all early contributors would get refunded. But if you'll take full success, what's your plans and first steps? Well, uh, as a first steps, uh, we want to create a completely decentralized uh, system. Uh, and uh, it's, 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 a, it's, it's still going to be a staged approach, um, meaning that uh, first we'll release an open source uh, node and, 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 and client software. Uh, so that people can start uh, using a decentralized network of nodes. Once that is in place, uh, we will still have certain elements uh, centralized. Uh, that's basically uh, that's uh, that's going to be done for two purposes. One is speed. We are we are going to be able to release this in a lot faster fashion, and uh, second is. Uh, uh, second is testing. Uh, we will need to perform lots of tests uh, to make sure we understand how to deal with this, so we understand the risks, uh, we test out various scenarios and so on. Um, once we are comfortable, uh, we will start uh, decentralizing uh, other elements like discovery mechanism, like uh, microtransaction uh, handling, um, uh, like identity management and so on. Um, and with each one of those, there are certain risks where, for example, Node could try to um, um, could try to 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 to, to, to abuse uh, the customer and vice versa. Um, so we uh, we need to build uh, safety mechanisms into that uh, so that doesn't happen. For example, if you connect to my computer and you just open, uh, I don't know, uh, CNN or Facebook and uh, just use a couple megabytes, but instead my node server uh, um, software says, oh, now you owe me for one terabyte of data. Uh, we need to make sure this doesn't happen. And in, in, once we ha uh, until we have a centralized server, that is fairly easy to ensure, uh, but once we uh, once we decentralize, uh, it's, 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 it's a completely different uh, level. So yeah, um, it's, it's going to be a staged approach and the, and the end result of the first phase is completely decentralized, all of those aspects that I just named. Uh, after that, we will be continually working on upgrading the, uh, uh, coming into the second phase. We'll be working on uh, improving the governance model, on improving the protocol uh, that is uh, connecting the users and shredding the, 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 the uh, traffic. Uh, there are multiple ways. Once we have a completely decentralized system, there are multiple paths uh, which we could take. And of course, community feedback will be essential on prioritizing these. So we'll look on your ICO progress and we'll hope for the interview in the middle of the 14th day. Good luck, Robertus. Thank you for interesting conversation. Yeah, bye.